I bet none of you have heard this new type of Dixon, as it is a new type of Dixon recently classified by the FDA. Recently, two people have suffered from chronic addiction of whom we'll be interviewing, as well as someone who has been affected by it. This leads to a question of, have you, a friend, or a possible loved one suffered from this addiction with increasing cases? The first person being interviewed for Bernard Addiction is a self-proclaimed Sage Main, of which under further investigation is a character in the game who heals teammates and puts up walls against the enemies, which leads us to believe that this game is trying to train the young to try and segregate people in the future, which quickly trends us in the call with them. Hello. Hi there. Are you ready to speak on your perspective on how Thalark the Dixon has affected you? Uh, alright, sure, yes. Alright, so, how has your Thalark the Dixon affected your personal life? Um, Valorant, Valorant had caused me to lose a lot of people who were close to me outside of the game. A lot of my friends took contact uh, with me. My family worries about me and about my well-being and what I'll do in the future, as well as that I don't really do anything else other than play Valorant. My life outside of Valorant is a big shit show. I fall so deep into Valorant that I didn't even realize until it was too late. Man. How do you think Valorant has affected the people around you? A lot of people around me have uh, stopped talking to me in general. Like how a lot of my friends uh, stopped um, communicating with me and straight up ignored me. While a lot of my family members distanced themselves from me. I don't have a lot of people in contact with me, other than people that play Battleborn. And uh, I don't have anyone particularly close to me right now uh, in my private life outside of Battleborn. Hmm. Okay, and finally, what are your thoughts on Battleborn and what message do you think it sends to our youth? This game entices us with its promises of awards and senses of accomplishments. But in reality, it traps us into this endless cycle of pain and endless addictions ingrained uh, inside our heads, leading us to waste a lot of our time in violent and and uh, never being able to do anything to really do anything else other than just play this game. Okay, thank you very much. Um, no problem. Okay, goodbye. Uh, bye. This heartbreaking incident truly shows the nature of art. As the interviewee said, it traps people and never lets them go. We need to find a treatment to eradicate this addiction. No more people should suffer the pain and loss this game can bring to people. Our next possible Valorant act is a self-proclaimed Jet Main. Yet another character in the game sees a psychomaniac who throws herself at the enemy team hoping to get a couple of kills. This seems like it could lead to unhealthy risk taking in real life situations. Let's now get into the call with them. Hello. Hi. So, Max, how are you doing today? Bad. Because I'm not playing with the press. Mm, interesting. I was wondering if I could ask you some questions about Valorant. Uh, sure, I guess got you. Okay. How has Valorant affected uh, your personal life? Valorant, like, my friends have started to leave me to play other games, which is not very, uh, cool. Mm. 
How do you think Valorant has affected the people around you? They seem to like be uh, bigger bullies now. They they're always leaving me to play other games like GTA V, Poly Bridge Two, and other games they play, and I just have to solo queue, which is uh, not very uh, fun. What are your thoughts on the game? Like, what message do you think it sends to our youth? I think the game sends like a message of great teamwork. You have to work with your team to plant the spike in the enemy territory, which builds much needed teamwork skills. Okay, final question. Would you consider yourself a Valorant addict? No, why, why would you say that, bro? As I've had the game open, see if any of our acts were playing. We can see that the first interviewee isn't as addicted as the person we just interviewed, who seems to have got the game open after telling us he was not addicted. Even our second interviewee said that you have to plan a spike, of which I thought meant you were drugging someone. But as it turns out, it's this for game's version of a bomb, which is way worse as it seems to be supporting terrorism, having to attack an enemy base. Our final interview is a victim affected by Valorant addiction. He has seen his friends fall to Valorant and spiral out of control to become hopelessly addicted. He is concerned for their health and well-being, wishing for the medical community to find treatment for this destructive addiction. Let's get to the interview with him now. Are you ready to speak on uh, your perspective on Valorant at Dixon and how it's affected you? Sure. Alright, so... How have your friends and loved ones Valorant at Dixon affected your personal relationship with them? I mean, at first it wasn't really too bad. We played it together, but then I got bored of the game. And everyone, even my own mom, just left me. To play the game every day it it just got to a point where it was too stressful that like it was like i was living in my own house not even not just my mom's man that must be tough how do you think Valorant dixon is affecting today's youth positively or negatively very negatively as i gifted my friends gta a while ago for $35 each, and yet they both don't care. They're, they're losing the value of money every day they play the game, because they got it for free. Uh, do you have any other friends that are better, though? There is one person, but they always have issues um, with the launcher and can't open the game. Man, that's awful. Do you think Valorant Addiction is an issue that the world is overlooking, or just not even seeing? Because of how new the game is, in my opinion, this issue hasn't been seen at all. But we, and by we I mean me and like two people in a Discord group chat, we've realized just how bad this can get. And no one cares. No, everyone's taking it like it's a joke, but this isn't a joke. Mm hmm. And last of all, do you have anything to say to the game developers, developers who have caused you great pain in your life? All I have to say is that League of Legends was fine. Should have stuck with that one. Thank you. Uh. As we've seen, Valorant is a truly detrimental game that destroys people's lives. It has caused our first interviewee to lose his family and friends, and is currently destroying our second one's life. The world is in dire need of a cure for this cancerous addiction. We are asking the medical and gaming community to quickly find a cure for this. And Riot, please do something to stop this from getting more out of hand than it already is. The world really needs to know how destructive the art truly is.